Welcome back, baseball fans. Summer 69-72 carryover league. We are in the America League West tonight. And we got just a great series here. Uh, I've been following the league thus far. We've been talking that the Angels are off to a Cinderella start. We've also been talking that Seattle has been playing tough baseball, even though they don't have the talent to do it. But they're doing it anyway. Let's just take a look at the standings before we look at what's happened. When you look at the standings in the West, is the West the best? Maybe, maybe not. The Angels are currently 11 and three, three and a half games above the A's and the Mariners and Rangers. It's been a incredibly good start for their pitching, but let's go through this series and look at it a little closely. Game one in California, it is Nolan Ryan. He's going against the number four starter, Dick Woodson. And uh, yeah, the Angels get a lot of runs here, and but Ryan, you know, looks pretty ordinary and walks seven guys in six innings and gets the win. Then we have games two and three. Game two, it's the Mariners winning a, a tight one, four to three. Skip Lockwood, a save by Lou Marone, and they even the series. And then game three, they come back home to Seattle and they win another one, six to three, behind their ace, Steve Klein. And they're up 2-1. And we're about to break up the Mariners. Like we were about to break up the Toronto team in the series against the Yankees. But then reality finally caught up in game number four. And then game number five. In game four, we have Nolan Ryan again. And he's going against the number three starter in this matchup. And he hangs on for a 5-3 win. He walked four guys in seven innings. Ryan's walked 34 guys in 35 innings this year. He is the ace and he's undefeated. And they win this game 5-3 to three to even the series at two games apiece. And then in game five, Bill Singer, who got some rest to give Jim McLaughlin a start, throws a complete game. And finally, the Angels look dominant, 8-2. And now, up three games to two, with a chance to have the best record in the American League, again, for the fourth series in a row. They can win one of the next two games. Back in Anaheim, Seattle will again send number four starter Dick Woodson. And for the Angels, it's number four starter Jim McLaughlin. Should be another plucky game. And let's get started. Ted Ulander leads it off. 211, bounce to second. Jerry Adair, 111, hit by pitch. Lee May, 69, skies the center. John Ellis, 410, skies the center X. John Stone's a 3E8 in center field. He makes the grab. Mari Wills, 54, flies left. Sandy Alomar, 17, pops to second. Alex Johnson, 111, grounds the second base. Top of two, Joe Pepitone, 110, rolls the mound. Kurt Moten, 36, is a K. Dave May, 32, lines to second. Pete Ward, 112, pitcher. Jim Spencer, 67, is a K. Larry Heisel, 37, is a K. The journeyman number four starters are over 12. Doing a good job here. Maxville, 1 8. Single 1 of 7. Lines out on a 10. Matt Chick, 46. Base hit. First hit of the game for a Seattle. Ted Ulander, 1 4. Lines a second. And with two outs, Jerry Adair, 311. Pops the third. Bottom of three. Jay Johnstone, 2 7's a K. Mickey Rivers, 37's a K. Phil Roof, 1-6 is a K. Nine up and down for the Angels. And we go to the fourth. Lee May, 62, short X. Mari Wills at short is a 3, 31, makes the play. John Ellis, 46 is a walk. Joe Pepitone, 1-7 is a 5, 4, 3, double play. Got a really good pitcher's duel today. Only one hit. Mari Wills, 33, short. Sandy Alomar, 34, pops the third. 
Alex Johnson, 3-6. And let's take a look at Alex Johnson's card as he breaks up the no-hitter. Great year for Alex Johnson. This is his 1970 card. He had 329 in over 650 plate appearances. Base hit, B stealer. Plus two armor Ellis. You know what? I don't think Alex Johnson has tried a stolen base all year. Why not now? And he rolled a 15 and he's out. Tough break. Okay. Stays scoreless into the fifth. Kurt Moten, 410. Center X. This is Johnstone, a 3 8 in center. Makes the grab. Dave May, 59 second. And Dale Maxvale's Silver Hammer, 4 to 5. Lines to first base. Scoreless. Going into the bottom of the fifth inning here in Anaheim. Let's pause a moment for station identification. This is the Shrimp Trawler video channel. Este es el canal de videos de camaroneros. Okay, bottom of five. Pete Ward, 42, pitcher. Jim Spencer, 1-5. Take a look at Jim Spencer's card. Homer, 1-8, fly ball. He misses the home run, though, unfortunately. Larry Heisel, 66. Triple, 1-4, single is a base hit. He's a beast stealer. He's going to try a stolen base with two outs. And this time, he's more successful than Alex Johnson. So, the only run possible at this point is on second base with two outs for Jay Johnstone. 6'10", a bouncer to third base. Magic's a 3'8", but he makes the play. Scoreless. We're in the sixth. Tom Matchick. 1-9, base hit. Will the Seatles force a game seven? We'll find out. And now, run at first, nobody out. We got the arguing pilots, Ted Ulander. No, Ulander. 62, bouncer to short. Mari Wills, the 331 at short. Ground ball C. Renart second, Adair. 46 is a walk. One more batter breaks McLaughlin. Lee May, 47, single one 11, rolls a 14. And with two outs, John Ellis, 49, bouncer to short. Mari Wills plays it into a single. Bases are loaded, two outs. The dude's throwing a shutout, though, even though he just broke. He is going to pitch to Joe Pepitone. Let's look at Pep's card here. With the bases loaded and two outs, not a smart move. I'd bring the lefty in, but uh, McLaughlin's throwing a shutout. Let's see what happens. 34, Pepitone pops to first base. McLaughlin gets out of it broken. If his team can give him a run, he could leave the game as a pitcher of record. But to do that, you gotta get a run off of Dick Woodson, who's been throwing a two-hitter. Mickey Rivers leading off the bottom of the six. 34, rolls the pitcher. Phil Roof, 2-8, grounds the short. Mari Wills, 1-7, is a bouncer to third base. So, we go into the seventh inning here. Righty lefty, righty lefty. I think we're going to pull McLaughlin because he's broken. And we have a great bullpen. McLaughlin's your number four starter. He's clearly the worst pitcher on your team when you have Ryan Singer, Clyde Wright. So he pitched well. Six shutout innings, but broke and didn't get support. So we're going to go to lefty setup guy Dave LaRoach in the seventh inning. Give you a couple frames here against the dangerous Kurt Moten. 56, Moten, base hit off LaRoach card. It's a 15 runner. Dave May. Does he stay in the game? He's gonna stay in the game and bunt. It's a good bunt. Now we got a runner at second for Dale Maxville, who actually hits lefties better than righties. 510 is a walk. That was a mistake by LaRoach. You got two on with one out, and your batter is Tom Matchick. Seattle knows that they're not going to pull a roach. So they're going to pinch hit. They're going to pinch hit Ron Woods. Let's take a look at Ron Woods' card. It's an outfielder. He's going to bat for the third baseman, but Seattle will make another uh, 
replacement before the bottom of the inning starts defensively. So we have two on, one out, Ron Woods, Dave LaRoche. And here's the pitch to, to Ron Woods. One, five, take, we saw the card, homer, one to nine, double, Ron Woods. He misses the homer, he gets the double, and that'll score at least one. Maxville will not run, he'll hold up a third, and Seattle grabs a one nothing lead. Second and third, and it's Ulander. No, Ulander comes up. The infield is up. LaRoche, good against lefties though. Ulander, 410 is a line under short. And with two outs, it's Jerry Adair. 33 Adair flies to right field, and the inning's over. And we need a third baseman. So Lee May will leave the next batter, and Rick Rennick will come in and play third base in that spot in the lineup. And Moten will go into the designated hitter role, and Ulander will go into left. So, bottom of the seventh of a one nothing game, Dick Woodson throwing a two hitter. You got uh, stretch time here in Anaheim, and we are listening to the music machine. Turn on the music machine, 1966. I think they're from San Jose, but they're from California, something like that. And uh, the Angels need a rally here. Need the rally monkey to come on here if they want to have the best record in baseball. Bottom of the seventh. Sandy Alomar, 33. Pops a second. Alex Johnson, 57, is a K. Pete Ward, 37, is a K. And today's story is Dick Woodson. Who? Dick Woodson with a two-hitter through seven innings. We go to the eighth with LaRoche. It's Rennick. 59. Bouncer to second. He's a 2 e 16 in second base, and he makes the play. John Ellis. 1 8. Ellis is a base hit. I think they might actually. They're going to have Jim Price come in to catch for John Ellis because he's a zero arm catcher, and that should negate some of that speed that the Angels have. Pepitone with runner at first. 68 is a sky to center. And Moten, 3 6, single 1 8 is a line out. All right, one to nothing. Dick Woodson, six outs away from a CGSO. Lou Marone, all star closer for Seattle, is warming. You got Spencer Heisel, Johnstone Rivers. Weissel, Woodson is pitching the game of his life. And Marone has been okay this year, but not nearly as good as the last couple years. If one of the first two batters gets on, they'll bring in Marone since you got Johnstone and Rivers at the bottom of the lineup coming up. But Woodson will pitch to Spencer to start the eighth. 410 is a sky to right. Larry Heisel. 32 is a bouncer to short, and with two outs. Jay Johnson. 48 is a single. Now, what do you do here? If you bring in a lefty, they'll bring in Don Baylor to pinch hit. So he will pitch to Mickey Rivers. I think this is going to be Woodson's inning at this point. Mickey Rivers, 1-6. Take a look at Mickey Rivers' card. Triple one, single not down. You got runners on the corners, but you got Phil Roof with two outs here. And do you pinch hit here? They're going to pinch hit Don Baylor. Don Baylor, let's take a look at him. Don Baylor will pinch hit for Phil Roof with runners on the corners and two outs. Runners being held on. Frankly, the Mariners don't really have a relief pitcher who's really good against righties. They've got uh, three pitchers who are good against lefties. And so they will let Woodson. It's his ball game. The tie run is at third. Rivers is at first being held on. And uh, it'll be Woodson, Don Baylor. The pitch to Don Baylor. 1-8 is a hit by the pitch. And if you follow Don Baylor's career, that happened quite frequently. Now the dude's broken, and now it's a different set of circumstances. And you're at the top of the lineup, and it's Mari Wills. Woodson will leave broken after seven and two-thirds. Because Mari Wills is, I'm not really impressed with him that much. And I think I've got the antidote. Not Maroon. I think it's going to be 
Diego Segui. Let's take a look at Diego Segui. You got switch hitters coming up back to back, and Segui is pretty darn good against lefties. So Segui will come on in the eighth in a one nothing game to face Mari Wills. With the bases loaded and two outs, the pitch to Mari Wills. 66, pops the first base. And Seattle escapes. We go to the ninth. The Roach is giving you a couple innings. May as well bring in Ken Tatum to pitch the ninth inning. It's not a save situation. He is an all another all-star. Both these teams have all-star closers. Here's Tatum. It'll be Dave May. 6-10, bounce to third. Pete Ward, 4-19 at third base. He kicks the ball. Maxville. Do we dare try bunting here? Let's try a bunt. Oh, it's not good. He's a B bunter. That didn't work at all. Ron Woods. 56 is a K and with two outs. Ulander. 38 is a single dot. Two on and two outs for Jerry Adair. 58 is a fly ball to left, folks. one nothing. bottom of the ninth inning. Alomar, Johnson, and Warden Spencer. I kind of like Alomar and then go to and then go to Maroon. I mean, uh, Sigi to Alomar and then when Alex Johnson comes up, switch over to a different pitcher. So it'll be Sigi versus Alomar to lead off the ninth. 1-4, Alomar grounds to short. You got Alex Johnson, Pete Ward, and Spencer. I think that'll do it for Segui. They're going to go right to Maroon here in the ninth. Johnson has more uh, hits more homers against righties. Lou Maroon. Let's take a look at Lou's card. If you watched the All-Star game last year, he he played in that game. Lou Maroon was a guy in the Pittsburgh system. He only had one season of organized baseball, pitched like 35 innings. But he has gone to two All-Star games for Seattle in, this, in the Carryover Expansion League. So, in the ninth inning, Lou Marone against Alex Johnson. All of Seattle's defense is in there. The pitch to Alex Johnson. 35 is a base hit. B Steeler being held on. Batting for Pete Ward, the lefty, will be Mike Shannon. Take a look at Mike Shannon. Near the tail end of his career, had 500 and exactly 600 plate appearances, hitting 254 with 12 homers. So Shannon, the winning run with Alex Johnson being held at first base in the pitch to Mike Shannon. 48, Shannon is a walk. Two on, one out for Jim Spencer. Chance to be a hero here and win this game in six if he can get a, uh, a hold of one here. First and second, one out, Jim Spencer, the pitch. 2-6, Spencer gets the hit. 2-6, single to right field. Johnson's a good base runner. He's a 14, the right fielder. is not you, Lander, it's Ron Woods, who came in in the middle of the game. Woods is a minus one arm. Alex Johnson is a 14 runner. It's a 13 to run, but no, he's going to be held up at third base. He's not going to run with one out. We got Larry Heisel and Jay Johnstone. And Seattle's gonna have to bring the infield up for Larry Heisel and Jay Johnstone. Let's take a look at Heisel's card. He's actually better against righties. And he strikes out a lot too. But he is the batter here with the bases loaded. And one out in the bottom of the ninth. The pitch from Lou Marone. 37 is the strikeout. And holding up that runner is looking kind of sketchy now. Jay Johnstone is your batter. There's Jay. Bases loaded. Two outs against Lou Marone. The pitch to Jay Johnstone. 39 is a bouncer to shortstop. And the American League West is still up for grabs. <laughs> Seattle, an improbable 1-0 victory in a game of guts. The gritty Seattle Mariners are going to force a Game 7. Wow, what a great game that was. Told you Seattle plays good baseball. Great game. 
one nothing victory. Tatum in the ninth, gave up a hit and a K. The loss will be LaRoche. He gives up the two hits, the run, and the walk. Three hits, a run, and a walk. McLaughlin in his six innings, he broke. He only gave up the three hits, three walks, and a K. But him breaking here forced a pitching change. And frankly, LaRoche is a much better pitcher than McLaughlin there. Marone, a little shaky. He gets the job done finally. He gave up two hits, a walk, and a K in the ninth. Wow. And Sagi got both of his batters out, but he was pulled. Dick Woodson threw a shutout. Four hitter, one walk, seven strikeouts. And there's your box, 1019-0109, 1706, 1706-4228. All tied up, three games apiece. Let's take a look at the composite box of these two teams. It'll be Nolan Ryan in game seven. But this time, we'll have to deal with a number one starter. He went up against Woodson once, and he went up against um, Luke Walker once. Now Ryan's going to have to strut his stuff against Steve Klein, who's arguably a better pitcher in a game seven. So, year to date, the Angels are 11 and 4. They are hitting 292, which is ridiculous. They are way over their head with that high batting average. ERA of 337. You see, Ryan is 4 and 0 with 32 walks and 35 innings. And offensively, they're being led this year by uh, Alex Johnson's 23 for 63. That's pretty good. And Seattle, more than respectable. 11 and 11, Seattle. What a great year they are having. They're only hitting 225, but they got a 397 team ERA. Interestingly enough, they've scored 175 runs this year, and they've given up 207 runs. So the Pythagorean, if you believe in that sort of thing, would have them have a losing record. But they've uh, overachieved. And they've got a good bullpen. Yeah, the bullpen's been great. Offensively, they're led by John Ellis, 32 for 88, having a nice year, leading the club in hits. We have played now. 252 games this year, and we're starting to see these numbers drop a little. 261 batting average with a 391 ERA. Thanks for checking out the video. We'll see you next time.